if we need a third row, please make it happen and boom. Perfect. <clears throat> I make messes. I make messes. I make mistakes. I make mistakes. But deep inside, but deep inside, I got what it takes. I got what it takes. I, I am an artist. All right, dudes, yesterday when we were in here, we watched a video where we talked a little bit about art class rules. We're going to talk about art class rules for just a little bit. <clears throat> in art class. In, in art, art class. class. Just like everywhere in life. Just like everywhere in life. There are rules you got to follow. There are rules that follow. My art room, I made it this big, beautiful, colorful place just for who? You guys, just for you guys. So to make it continue to be this big, beautiful place where we can come and make stuff, we have to follow these rules. Rules are gonna what make it so that we can have an awesome time in art class. Can I get an okay? Okay. All right. So let's see. Rule number one. It starts with the letter A. A. It's for aim. In art class. I will aim to do my best and do what's right. All right, so dudes, the only thing I ask is that you always try. Sometimes you're going to fail. Sometimes you're not going to like it. Sometimes you're going to get really frustrated, but I still want you to try. And I don't ever, never, ever, never, ever, ever want to hear you say these words. I can't do it. Can I get a <gasps> When you hear somebody say, I can't do it. Let me see what you're supposed to do. <gasps> I want you to do that and say, yes you can. Yes, yes, you, can. <laughs> yes you can. Let's try. until you can do it. Can I get an okay? Okay. So we're not going to say, I can't do it. You could say, I can't do it yet. yet. You got it. Because the yet is coming. You will be able to do it. Here's the other thing I don't want you to hear you say. Are you ready? I don't want you to say, I don't like mine. When you say something like, I don't like my artwork, it's bad because it hurts your own feelings. That's talking negatively or not nicely to yourself. You should always talk nicely to yourself. You might not like it, but that means you have to keep on trying. trying. You got it. All right, let's move on to the R. <clears throat> the R stands for respect. I will respect Miss Levens, these other people who are my friends. The art room. All right, boys and girls, here's how you can respect the art room. Anything you get out, please make sure you put it away. But sometimes you might see something that you didn't get out, and maybe it's a piece of paper on the floor. Sometimes people do this. They see something on the floor, and they look at it, and then they walk over it, and they keep on moving. No, no. Just because you didn't drop it or it's not yours doesn't mean you shouldn't have respect for the art, art room. It's pretty nice and clean in here. Let's try our best to keep it looking nice. And the T the the is for trust. It's for trust. I need to trust in myself. Trust in myself. And my ability to learn. And my ability to learn. All right, friends. Let's see who's sitting so awesome. Those are the art class rules. Sometimes people might break a rule in art class. Here's what happens if you break a rule. Can I get a dun 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 dun? So the first thing will happen is this. Usually, I'll mark a sad line on the sad board. That's your first clue that you made a boo-boo. But if you just don't get it, then I'm gonna have to have a chat with you. It's gonna be called a warning. It will sound like this. Hey, you forgot to raise your hand. Please remember, because you are forgetting, this is your warning. Sound good? 
Okay, now if you still aren't getting it for some reason, then it might mean that you need to take a timeout break. If you take a timeout break, it's not a big deal. I just want you to take a break and think about it and then get your life together so that you can come back to art class. When you take a timeout break, sometimes you might sit here on the floor. Sometimes I might ask you to go take a seat in your chair. I'm just gonna have you take a break somewhere away from the group, especially if you're bothering us, okay? Okay. Then, if you still ain't getting it, then perhaps you might need to go have a chat with Mrs. McCoy or Mrs. Bach in the office. You wanna know how many times people have to go to the office from art class? Like next to never. Cause everybody wants to be in here, right? So those are things called consequences. Da, da, da. Now you have been super duper pooper scooper listener. So I'm gonna go like this and then I'm gonna go like this. And then I'm gonna ask for Jacob to turn the switch that has the red box around it. Cause we got a super duper short video to watch a different one. So Jacob, can you go to the light switch and then flip the switch with the red box around it? Oh, who's that beautiful lady? I know her. It's you. Oh, I, I know. Okay, so here's our chart. I don't know who sits at orange number one. We'll have to remember that. We'll I go back do. to our seat in a minute. Akelix does. Good job remembering, Akelix. So let's say on the rare occasion that Akelix makes a mistake or he's talking out or I've asked him to go to timeout and he still can't get his life together. Then we might have to do this. And if this doesn't get moved back up, if Akelix's behavior does not improve, then I'll have to let Miss Golson know. So our goal is to keep them all in this top row. Make sense? Yeah. Awesome. Here's what we're going to do next. I would like it if you can show me that you can remember where you sit. So I've got my little chart in case anybody forgets. Maybe I have my chart. Yep, sure do. Let's see who can tiptoe to their seat and stand behind their pushed in chair starting now. 